Hi lovely ear signs, I'm Jenny from Joy Energy Tarot. This is your weekly reading for the 20th to the 26th of November and I hope it resonates. So I've done all the shuffling so we don't have to waste time on the video. So let's start off. You guys start off the week with the Six of Pentacles. So this is about you guys receiving something that you deserve. It can be a gift, it can be money, it can be kindness. Something that you've done is now coming back to you. Sixes are all about balance and getting that balance back in your life. It can do, be to do with money. It can be to do with your home and your security. But don't to forget to give out to those less fortunate than yourself. Then you have got the Four of Wands. This is all about, again, balance. This is like a double eleven. This is about happy relationships. So this bodes well for you singles wanting a loving, happy relationship because you've also got the Ace of Cups here. Um, but this is about now um, you are secure and safe in your home, in your work, in your um, love life or relationships. And even if you're single, it's to do with feeling good at home and work. But this gives you that freedom now to be able to move forward and do your own thing. And then you've got the Queen of Cups. So there's either somebody lovely around you or you're thinking of somebody like this or this is you. This Queen of Cups is all about feeling motherly, kind, generous, being in touch with your own emotions, your own intuition, being able to follow that. So, um, so this is either you guys or somebody around you like that. Then you have got the Ace of Wands. So this is wonderful. This is all about a new job, a new study, a new career, a new home, a new car, anything physical. You are learning something new. You are now progressing. You're learning something new. And look, it's going to help you really grow. Then you've got the Eight of Cups, which is really good. I feel that this is under some kindness and the goodness that you've given out with the Six of Pentacles and near the Four of Wands. So the Eight of Cups is like walking away from things, leaving things from leaving things behind. So this can be where old emotions have held you back. You might have been clinging to something from the past or you're dealing with something that's been quite hard. This is an Eight. It's karmic. So you're now able to transform your life and move forward. Look at the beautiful butterf um, dragonflies and butterflies. This is all about hope, transformation, faith. So you guys are doing that. You're moving forward. Then you've got the Page of Pentacles. So this is about you thinking um, thinking about your future, thinking um, in a young person's mind rather than somebody older, um, at what you want to do, you know, water the seeds that you've planted and you will grow. This is also about an invitation or an offer coming in that helps you grow and you have to work out, do you really want to do that? Because then you have, that invitation could be coming from someone who wants to share something with you. They want to give you love. You may want to work on something together. This can be about you progressing yourself as well, like working on your own belief system and your own physical body and getting things in alignment. So the lovers can be creating something new. Um, and, it's, and then you've got the Six of Swords. So underneath your Ace of Wands, the Ace of Wands and the Lovers are surrounding the Six of Swords. So you are now coming out of a dark period. You've been floating around in a bit of a fug, not knowing where you want to be, what you want to do, excuse me. <coughs> where you want to be, what, where, what makes you feel safe and secure. You know, so like she's floating up there, working out what she wants to do and you're ready to anchor yourself. So this is also like coming out of the dark into the light. You can now see a lot more clearly yeah, because it's a sword, which is all about your thinking and your mind. You've got it balanced. So you've got two um, sixes here. So that's really good. That's about getting the balance back in your life. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, nothing better than having balance back in your life. So now we've got um, the covering cards, but I feel like there might be two stories going on here. You've got the Five of Pentacles, so this can be where you've um, had a loss or you're carrying a loss or you think you're not good enough or you haven't got enough money. Fives are about choice, change, freedom. You feel trapped um, by something. So something that's, you know, um, it's like a negative energy. And so you... Um, Work out an affirmation that suits you. So if it's money, you're lacking in money. Money always flows easily to me. And I've got a friend who's two people I know who've done that and then suddenly they get money out of the blue. It can be from the council where they've overpaid their rates. My friend, it was her lawn mowing. She'd been overpaying them for ages and she got quite a large sum. So it does, it's like changing your viewpoint from something negative or sad into something positive. And then you've got the Page of Cups. So for some of you, this is an offer of love. 
this is an, an offer of love coming in because it's right next to the Ace of Cups. And you have to work out, you're looking at it, this is um, um, the fish, Pisces, a dreamy, you know, are you ready to follow your dreams? Do you really want to do this? Do you want to, you know, you have to work out and use your own intuition about whether this is real or whether you want to do it. And then you've going to, got the Ace of Cups, so something is happening that's going to make you feel really, really happy. And then we've got the um, Knight of Swords, so some sort of information is coming in, and it's coming in very slowly, and you need to check the fine print. It can be about learning, and it can be about look for signs, you're being, you know, feathers and things like that, signs that you can relate to. Look for those because someone's trying to give you a message, but this is all about you cutting through the BS and being able to see clearly because you've got the moon and the deceiver card next to that. So the moon card is um, overcoming fears, um, your emotions going up and down and up and down. You could be waking up at night having vivid dreams, but it's about breaking through any illusions, disillusions you have about things, that you can come up with great new ideas. But it is to do with the, de the deceiver. So the deceiver card can be a Capricorn, you're thinking about money, but it can be a toxic environment, a toxic situation, something toxic and not good, a toxic energy. Um, to do with work, home, family, a person that you know. So you're learning about that situation and you're learning probably about how to help them. So Gemini, um, what do you need to know? You have got faith, humanity and benevolence. Stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and others and see the light in the world. Okay? See the light in the world. So again, with this toxicity and negativity, don't buy into anybody else's um, problems or um negative views or uh, addictions, things like that. that. That card can relate to addictions too, by the way. And then we've got um, for Libra, you've got Rad, Rada, Soul Flame. Rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience relationship, harmony and healing. Okay, isn't that lovely? And Aquarius, you've got Mahavata Babaji, Soul Expansion Aquarius. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. That's amazing. So you're learning through your life experiences and your soul is um, teaching you things and you're learning. That's fantastic. Okay, so going over the reading, <clears throat> you've got like harmony at home and at work. You're learning. You've got the Ace of Wands, learning new things. You've got the Ace of Cups. So there's new beginnings and it's learning. Um, there's a little bit of sadness. You're also walking away from a situation or leaving behind old emotions so that you can develop and move forward. You're moving forward out of a, um, a, a phase of where you're overthinking or being in a bit of a dark patch and now you're coming into the light, seeing things more clearly. And this um, Knight of Swords and the Moon next to the Devil, so someone's either got an alcohol problem or a a drinking problem or a gambling problem or something. This is only for some of you, not all of you. Someone's got some sort of toxic addiction possibly and I feel that you're going to get news about it or you're going to learn about it. It may come out of the blue. You may not have even known that this person had this or you're learning about it and maybe helping them. But look out for the signs and just remember you are guided and you're looked after. So, um, you know, look out for feathers, butterflies, birds and know that your angels and guides are there to help you. You are never alone. All right, and for others of you, this can be where you just feel trapped and tied down. It can be to do with money. It could be your mortgage is too high, or something like that. And and um, this one too is uh, about following your intuition and working out what's real and what isn't real. And you can come up with some great ideas and plans because your intuition is spot on. Trust your intuition more and follow it. Okay, lovelies, I hope this has resonated with you. Please leave a comment, I'd love it. And push like and subscribe. See you all again. Ka kiri anō. Bye.